What we're going to be going through here is accounting for purchase goodwill and we're just going to be looking at a very basic example here to calculate goodwill and how we'd record it here. Now for example Corporation A will purchase Corporation B for $760,000 and it's agreed here between Corp A and Corp B that the land is undervalued here by $100,000 and the equipment is overvalued here by $10,000. And uh, we're going to be looking at the balance sheet here for Corporation B. So on Corporation B, they have a book value here for their assets here and their liabilities. But when we have this uh, transaction here where Corporation A is going to uh, purchase Corporation B, we have to determine the fair value here of the assets and the liabilities. And we're going to do that in in order to determine any goodwill here. So just going through our basic example here, we had uh, between our book and our fair value here on our cash was the same, uh, $200,000 land. In this case, remember, we had to, it was undervalued here by $100,000. So the book was $140,000. Its fair value would be $240,000. Building, same here for be between the book and the fair value, $400,000. And then uh, in this case, remember the equipment here was overvalued here by $10,000. So the book was was 350,000 so we have to record it here at $340,000. Now remember everything is here in here in thousands of dollars. And then copyright uh, just say there was a book and the fare was the same here at $60,000. So our total assets here at book were $1,150,000, fair value $1,240,000. So next for our liability so well we only had two here accounts payable, book and fare were the same here at 100,000 and then we had a notes payable here uh, 600,000 for book and the fair value. Um, so the total liabilities were $700,000 and then where there was some common stock and some retained earnings here, so $450,000. So um, our total liabilities plus a shareholder's equity $1,150,000. And uh, that's at the fair value here was the same here between the book and the fair. And then just remember here, total assets uh, for the book here were $1,150,000. But the fair value is $1,240,000. So now let's go and let's uh, look at our how we calculate our goodwill here. Now goodwill is measured as the excess of the purchase cost over the fair value of the identifiable net assets acquired. That would be like our assets are less our liabilities here. So, And it's referred to as a gap filler or a master valuation account. So to calculate our goodwill here, all we take is our fair value of our net assets here. Remember our our assets here at one million two hundred forty thousand less the liabilities a fair value was seven hundred thousand dollars here so the difference gives us a fair value in net assets of five hundred and forty thousand dollars and then the price paid here well to determine our goodwill we just take the price paid less the fair value of our net assets so the price paid was seven hundred sixty thousand dollars and then the fair value of our net assets five hundred forty thousand dollars so the difference gives us our goodwill here of two hundred $20,000. So just moving up to the balance sheet again, remember the fair value here, total assets $1,240,000 and then we would, this would be plugged in here as our goodwill we'd have $220,000. So total assets plus goodwill uh, here is $1,460,000. Okay, so let's go and look at how we'd record this goodwill here. So again, going just through our definition here for recording goodwill, uh, number one, you, it's inter internally generated goodwill should not be capitalized. Uh, now we're looking at purchase goodwill here. So purchase goodwill is recorded only when an entire business is purchased here. So in this case Corp A is buying uh, the entire business here of Corp B so we would be recording it here. Okay, number three, goodwill is not amortized. It must be tested annually for impairment and written down if it has decreased in value and recognized as an expense here on the balance sheet. And then just to review here, goodwill write-off, number one, goodwill is recognized uh, in a business is considered to have an indefinite life here and should not be amortized. We mentioned that above here. And then number two, you adjust the goodwill carrying value only when it's impaired here. And that test we do annually here. So let's go up and look at just a basic uh, record uh, for Corporation A, the purchase here, recording the assets and 
the goodwill that they bought here from Corp B. So assets acquired at their fair value here on the balance sheet. Again, uh, let's just point out here, they require in, acquired $200,000 in cash and these other assets here. So uh, they would have debited cash here for $200,000. But also remember, they paid out cash here of $760,000. So would they credit or reduce their cash paid here to purchase Corp B by $760,000? And then the land building and equipment in this copyright uh, were the assets that they received here. Again, just recorded at their fair value here and then the total amount for these assets acquired here uh, not including the goodwill was one million two hundred and forty thousand dollars then just moving up to our liabilities very simply here just credit your liabilities acquired at their fair value again here accounts payable a hundred thousand notes payable six hundred thousand total amount here of seven hundred thousand dollars and then just recording our goodwill here on a separate account and it's really a valuation account here so we debit that here for two hundred and twenty thousand dollars and that was simply remember the price paid here of seven hundred sixty thousand dollars less the fair value of the net assets that uh, we acquired here of five hundred and forty thousand dollars gives us the goodwill here of two hundred and twenty thousand dollars so just remember here this goodwill it's just the valuation account here that you set up here on your balance sheet by the amount of goodwill in this in this case it was a purchase goodwill here and let's just move down here one note here uh, looking at a bargain purchase here and then points here one two number one the purchaser in a business combination that's if a purchase here in, in a business combination combination pays less than the fair value of the identified assets now remember in this case they in to do with goodwill you would have paid more than the fair value but here's where you pay less than the fair value of net assets and number two you if the purchase price is less than the value of the net identified assets this excess amount is recorded as a gain to the purchaser instead of goodwill you would record it here as a gain again we're not going through the bargain purchase here we're just looking at the basic example here and just just to remember here let's just look at it one more time here goodwill is measured as the excess of the purchase cost over the fair value of the identifiable net assets acquired again just your assets minus your liabilities and again fair value here and it's really referred to as a gap filler or a master valuation account all right so that takes care of our calculation here for goodwill and a basic uh, transaction